Am I forcing my religion on you? Or am I giving you a relationship update? Am I forcing my religion on you? I'm just trying to tell you that for God so loved you, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe for him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible said, Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. The Bible say, If Jesus Christ be lifted from the earth, I draw all men unto him, not to me, but to him, not to, not to man, but to God. So am I forcing my religion on you? My friend, I don't want to see you die without Jesus. Because a person that dies without Jesus going to a Christless place called hell. Now, a true pastor preaches and teaches about hell. A false pastor does not preaches on hell. He say hell offends you. But I'd rather a place offend me to get to heaven than don't talk about it and end up in hell. Jesus Christ told him in John the 14th chapter verse number 1 and 2. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me in my father's house. There many mansion. If it was not so, I would tell you, I go prepare, prepare a place for you where I am, you may be also. My friend, am I forcing my religion on you? I love you. I want you to, I want Jesus Christ to say, well done, well done to you. I don't want him to say, damn. I want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. There's one scripture that's very disturbing. He said, he that believeth and baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Now that means, that means if you believe, you're going to get baptized. You're going to emerge in the water. You're going to receive the Holy Ghost. Because in Acts 2.38, in Acts 4.12, in Acts 2.38, it say, listen to what it say, my friend. It say, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, neither there is salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Now I tell people, there's an A, B, C, D plan of salvation. A, you must acknowledge Jesus. B, you must believe in Jesus. C, you must confess Jesus, and D, God will deliver you or say damn with you. My friend, how come I tell you? Am I forcing my religion on you? I want you to tell you about a relationship. Jesus Christ, he said, come unto me, all he that have it laid in, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, because I'm meek and loyal to your heart, and if I rest unto you. Come on, yoke is easy and my burden is light. Am I forcing my religion on you? I want to tell you. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, shall not perish, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Am I forcing my religion on you? I want to tell you, it's not about religion. Religion is a system made to control mankind, to make us robots, to program us. But Jesus Christ said, come, come, he the heavenly and come, and I will give you rest. Peter said, Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7, he said, casting all your cares upon him because he cared for you. 
Yes, he cared for. He loved you so much that he sent his best. His best was his only begotten son. Died on the cross. Got buried in Joseph Arimathea's tomb. A brand new tomb. And the third day he rose again. They lied and say that disciples came by night and took his body. Because they, they was in threat by saying that everything Jesus Christ said would happen. Well, while Jesus was going to Emmaus, while these two men was going to Emmaus, and they were sad and pitiful, and Jesus said, why are you so pitiful? They say, this is the third day, and some women saw that the tomb was empty, but we don't know what happened to Jesus. Jesus Christ said, you fool. What did he say? You fool and sore of heart. Did you believe the scripture that I must die and be buried? And be resurrected? Am I forcing my religion on you? I want to tell you, my friend, don't die without Jesus. When I say, do not die without Jesus. The Bible says, my friend, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Today is the day of salvation. The Bible says in Proverbs 27, verse 1, is a boast not for tomorrow, because I know not what tomorrow may bring. The sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The Bible said, Today you hear, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Can I tell you something? We are in the seventh church millennium. Yeah, we are in the seventh church of Asia Minor. In that church, Jesus Christ tell them you either hot or cold or lukewarm. What is lukewarm? Lukewarm is one foot in the church and one foot in the world. Lukewarm is a person that's a Christian, but is still worldly. They still cuss. They still smoke. They still drink. They still have sex. And they still act like the world. On Sunday, they act like they never, they never have done nothing wrong. Am I forcing my religion on you? I want to tell you, my friend, don't die without Jesus. The Bible says, lay aside every weight and the sin that easily beset you. But look unto Jesus, the author, and the finish your faith for the joy that was set before him. And do the cross, despise the shame, and it sit right at the right hand of God. Am I forcing my religion? On you know, I want to give you, I want to give you an opportunity to meet my Jesus. Yes, to meet my gentle Jesus. Jesus Christ came as a Messiah and is coming back as a conqueror. But don't let it be said too late. What is too late? We can die without Jesus. My friend, what does it profit a man and a woman to gain the whole world and lose? their soul. Am I forcing my religion on you?